Hi everyone, Debbie here, Jacaranda Insights for Sunday the 5th of February 2023. Now the first card is about work and it's a bit odd to come up on a Sunday, isn't it, when we're not working most people. But it is about the security, our talents, our career. This person here on, with the Eight of Pentacles is really focusing on making that one just as perfect, if not better than all the rest. So sometimes this card reminds me that we're missing out on something else that's going on in town there. The other things that are around us that we are so caught up with being recognised by our work. So we've got our work hat on, then when we go home it's like, oh, like what do I want to do? And that Leo full moon is going to bring that up. It's going to be, have you fiery enough to be able to pursue some of those other things that you might like to do that you've been putting off? And to me, that is going to give you the nine of pentacles, which is such a rich, and the yellow is very much about your soul of plexus, your personal power, your self-esteem, confidence. You need that courage and that confidence. And the full moon in Leo is all about courage and confidence and being bold. Patience has been a virtue and that's how we do. We repetitively do something over and over until we get so good at it like this person here. But it can take over our whole life and it can become our, our whole identity. That's what I guess I'm trying to get across today is go and sit in nature, go for a swim in the ocean, have some time out, give yourself some quiet time. Instead of you, you know, you be patient with you and have that downtime for you to be able to allow some great inspirational ideas to come in because the last card is the Queen of Swords. So here you are with your angels and you have an antenna and you're plugging into what you really want the clouds are dissipating, so the tough times are over. You know how to manage and function in your life. You know how to save. You know how to manage people and relationships. So to me, the tough times are over. Being the queen, being uh, able to think, swords of thoughts, very analytically, but also be still plugged in with your intuition is the best form of defense isn't it to actually have that confidence again like that leo the lion to be able to make decisions not just using your head but using your heart sometimes our head can get in the way sometimes i'd say to people come back and put your hands on your heart and just say what does my heart say to do with this decision or uh, problem because your head is so tainted with so many different things from society that we need to come back to what our original gut instincts are and that's what I reckon the Queen has done. She's very good and intelligent and smart and all of those things or she wouldn't be able to be gracefully in charge of a big community of people and she's evolved like these butterflies, a big butterfly there, a couple of butterflies there, she's got butterflies on her crown. So she's been and gone within like the caterpillar in the chrysalis and then she's actually come out and blossomed and that's what I get what's happening after this full moon. We're going to be pursuing our way to freedom because birds in the tarot mean freedom, personal freedom. So numbers are eight, queen is nine, another nine, nine and nine is 18. One plus eight equals nine in numerology and that's the end of a spiritual journey and the beginning of a new one. I'm excited for everyone. Have a lovely day, everyone.